Hi guys. Good morning. A lot of you have been requesting for this video. So I'm going to fulfill your wish. Um, today is uh, Sunday in the morning. Mm -hmm. We are making garlic water. So I know this, this video has been going viral for the past one week or two weeks soon uh, a lot of people have been searching for this video and some of you have given me very constructive comment that you want me to redo this video so i'm going to show you how to do this so it's really really simple so you can either use a mortar which i'm going to get let me just swan that the one that i did before i was using this mortar yeah, but now I'm going to show you a much easier way because if you use a mortar, you have to crush the garlic and then later you have to carry this and wash this and this sometimes doesn't really dry quite quickly. So you have to use a cloth and it's a lot of hustles. So instead of using that, I'm going to be using this very easy tools. Or uh, if you find anything that is maybe even close to this. But again, this is quite heavy. So if you're going to pound this on a mat, it will spoil your table. And also sometimes if you want to pound them on a porcelain, it will spoil your porcelain or, you know, it's kind of hassle. So I wouldn't recommend you use this. I would recommend that you use this instead. So this is, uh, people use this for cocktail. You can see there are many different types. Uh, I have one which is uh, made of stainless steel. That is for professional uh, bartender. But I like this one because this is quite light. Uh, the only disadvantage is that it is made of wood. So you have to wash it uh, and it's really easy to wash it, but you have to dry them. Uh, if you're using every day, so you want to uh, make sure that you dry this. Um, and some people, they don't have time, Monday to Friday, you know, every morning when you get up from work. So what can you do, right? So let me show you guys. I You can actually put them into small, small jar bottles with a cover. And then you can pound... Uh, a few garlics from let's say five garlics Monday to Friday Saturday Sunday you have more available so maybe you should uh, do this five at one time so what I usually do is I take the garlic I have this really nice um, uh, I wouldn't say it's uh, porcelain this is more like a ceramic ceramic underneath so what I do is that I just take this and then I put them onto this. Hey, Swante. And then I put them onto this bowl and then I just pound them. Uh, Swante, go away. <laughs> go near. I have to carry off my cat. Go near. Oh, and then, um, <laughs> oh, shit. Swante, go near. This is what will happen when you do on a live streaming and your children or your pets is all around. So some people they like to remove this part. I forgot to tell you. Yeah, this top part you can actually cut them away. So if you're doing five at one time, you cut all of them away. So the one thing very good about this kind of porcelain is that I have included this in the link video. Uh, so you can order them uh, something similar not exactly the same one I think the one that I have is much better it's much bigger uh, this one a bit too small for me so you pound them you just crush them like this you don't need to pound them you just crush them And you probably wonder why we drink garlic water, right? Okay, if you want to Google 
on garlic water benefit why you should drink this every day you will be in for a surprise because this very simple water uh, will improve your health tremendously especially for those people who are afraid of stomach cancer i have seen people with stomach cancer and um, a lot of other disease like uh, heart attack and all that i'm not an expert in this field so you have to go and google and check it out yourself so you saw how simple it was i just crush it with this so what you do is you can do five of these put them in a small small jar and then put them in the refrigerator. So every morning you just take a little bit and put them in the water. So what do you do next, right? You put them in this cup. This cup has a filter. It's a ceramic cup on this part. So I love this cup. And uh, I think after I did the live streaming, a lot of people went to my Amazon store and buy this kind of similar cups. And I hope they are really satisfied because I have done some research and I choose the one that is of a better quality. So what you do next, you put the ginger water in here. And if you like, you can actually do this the night before and then let it steep overnight. That is even powerful. So I'm going to just put water. You don't have to use uh, hot water. The other time I used was hot water. So ginger can be, uh, garlic can be a little bit strong for some people. So what I do is next is that I just let this sit for five, 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes. And then you want to season this, right? So usually, let me see, if I have a honey, I'll just pour the honey. But if you don't have a honey, you just drink it at the this, like this, like a shot. So usually I like to just steep them. And if you want, you can always stir them. <laughs> and then let this steep. Uh... The last time I used, I used warm water. This time I'm using cold water because I just realized that, you know, warm water somehow will uh, destroy the goodness from the garlic. So when you want to drink, you just remove this and then you just drink like this. All right. So it's really, really simple. Garlic water. And... I want you to, to go and Google and check out uh, why I'm drinking this uh, and why a lot of people, the whole world is doing that, <laughs> I hope, because everybody needs this. Even children, you have to train them to drink this every day because this will cleanse up the whole system. Especially if you are afraid of colon disease like uh, cancer, lots of people, you know, because stomach cancer is one of the most dangerous cancer so a lot of people don't know that until when it comes to the stage the second stage where you start to feel the pain then some people can be safe some people come and you know my boyfriend her his wife uh, actually died of stomach cancer and i think she died within three to six months so this is recommended and this is proven that this will help you to improve your health in all aspects. Your eyesight will be better, your stomach, your immune system will be better, your blood will be thinner, not so thick. And then also a lot of problem with, uh, you know, our skin. Some people, they have very sensitive skin. So this is really, really good. Uh, for me, I have problem with skin. I noticed that I have bitten, been bitten um, by some insects lately when I was picking things, uh, plant in the forest. So I use the garlic water, uh, not the garlic water, but the garlic that is being used. I just apply on it and it helps. 
And now, I mean, the mark is still there, but it doesn't itch anymore. So let this steep for a while, cover them, and uh, mm. do this at night. The best time is at night. Steep them overnight, and then you drink them first thing in the morning, 20 minutes before you have your breakfast. So I suggest if you are having a happy day ahead, you do this at night. Uh, you know, it's much easier. You don't have the stress in the morning. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please give a thumbs up. Uh, and I'm going to enjoy this myself. And I'm going to tell you how this thing is. So usually what I do is I don't throw this away. Yeah, I just drink this before lunch, uh, breakfast. And then I just keep this garlic. After I drink this, and then I pour another review. Do this again, <clears throat> and then I just let this sit there and sleep for the whole day. So if I go to work, and then when I came back in the evening, uh, before lunch time, uh, before dinner, I'll just drink this again, just twenty minutes before I eat anything. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a nice day, and I'll see you again. All right. Bye bye. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I do live streaming on uh, food, fast, easy dinner idea. And I also do live streaming about my travel, uh, shared, uh, my travel abroad, both in Sweden and in other country. So if you like tips about how we travel as to get the maximum out of not the tourist trap kind of traveling uh, we like to go on our own we like to find the places you know interact with the local people so this is uh, a China for you if you are into that enjoy your weekend hope to see you again bye bye